you for joining with me today live here at my channel for a live worship experience. Before we begin, I will be playing 10,000 Reasons by Matt Redman. After that, I will tell you a few important things you need to know. Then we will all pray. After today, I will be doing a live worship every Wednesday and Sunday at 3 p.m. here at my channel. Thank you for joining with me today. Don't forget to subscribe and comment, be and comment below what do you think of this live worship. Should I do it again? God bless you and enjoy. So as I can see in that image what I've done before, it says when one door closes, God will open another one for you. So what does that mean? That means is the notion that when a door is closed, God opens another one is clearly illustrated in Acts 5, 17, 25 by the high priest and all of his associates who were members of the party of the Sadducees, arrested the apostles and put them in public put them in public jail. But during the night, an angel of the Lord opened the doors of the jail and brought them out to stand in the temple courtyard and tell the people everything about life in Christ. Meanwhile, the prison was found securely locked and the guards standing at the doors. So when the officer of the temple guards and the chief priest heard this, they were puzzled about what could have happened. They forgot that the God factor. When a door when a door is closed, God opens another one. So in this next one about God is never late is but on time. We're gonna talk about two and this is our last quote for today. Until next month, which is on Sunday live at 3 p.m. Anyway, let's begin. So what that means is God has his own sense of timing. With the Lord one day is a, as a thousand years and a thousand years as one day. 
or is this from, or is this from 2 p to 3-8 a.m. p. He has perfect timing, never early, never late. God is never in a hurry, but he is always on time. We see in today's passages that the Lord is a sovereign over the future, which is Daniel 4-22. We are looking forward to a new heaven and a new earth. 2 Peter 3-13 God is never to vindicate his, pe- his people. Teslam 135-14 you guys enjoyed that now at this time we'll be praying for everyone um at this point during this COVID-19 clean condition foster care but before we do that if you want to send in a prayer request you can go ahead and do that send down the discussion tab I'll take a look at that later this week um and hopefully be that in the next video and then after this video, I'll be doing our number one subscribe video. I'll be doing our number one subscribers and later this month. If you subscribe, your name will be in that video. Right, I hope everyone is having a wonderful evening. And ladies and gentlemen, let's begin our prayer. God, I would like to thank you for this day, this wonderful evening, people watching this video. God, I would like to um, pray for those who are witnessing their COVID-19 experience. God, please don't take their lives. But if you do, hoping they could make their way to heaven. Um, let's pray it be light to them. May their cups be filled. I would also like to pray for those who are in foster care, going to be through these tough times, who can't see their parents with these COVID-19 restrictions. But I hope late in the future they will be reunited with their families again. God, let God let make sure if the door closes, another one will be open to you. Um, God, please take our worries and so we don't worry about them again. Um, but God, please help those in need on this COVID nineteen who doesn't have a home. Um, who are homeless, God, um, please help those find their way to you, but God, thank you, thank you for this day, and in Jesus' name, amen.